Berkshire's quota share treaty with Swiss Re, covering 20% of Swiss Re's property casualty risk ends in 2012. Does Berkshire plan to replace that premium volume through another transaction? Well, we would hope to, we always hope to get more good volume, but, but what we do has no relationship to the expiration of that contract. I mean, uh, that contract was a five-year contract. It's a big contract, billions of dollars a year. Uh, but the fact that that expires and our premium volume will go down by multiple billions does not cause us to do one thing differently than we would do otherwise. We've got the capacity to write billions and billions of business, and we would love to do it if we were expanding the Swiss Re contract, and we, we don't want to write any dumb business if, when, we, when we lose that contract. It's just, it's... It's a non-event in terms of future strategy. It's not a non-event in terms of losing some business that we like, but it's a non-event in terms of any future strategy. We regard every decision, you know, as independent. We don't do, if money comes in, that doesn't cause us to want to think about doing something today that we weren't thinking about doing the day before. Uh, it, it, we just don't, we don't operate that way. We, we, it, uh, uh, we'll, have, we'll have things that come along that are terrific, and that doesn't mean us that the next day we don't want to look for something additionally that's terrific. It's, every decision is sort of independent. I don't think there's another large insurance operation in the world that is more cheerful about losing volume than we are. If it doesn't make sense. We don't the business it. has to shrink, we let it shrink. Yeah. Yeah. We don't measure ourselves in any way. By size. By size. Except by the growth in value over time. <laughs> <laughs>